The Sentinel control system was essentially a robotic power armor frame. Developed by a partnership between Westec and General Atomics International, the goal of the project was, well, you could probably already guess at this point, to provide additional firepower to the military during the Sino-American War. Post-war, the Brotherhood of Steel managed to recover some of these suits, and when a splinter faction, the Outcasts, left the organization, they took a few with them. But, when the two stopped bickering after a 16-year-old came into power, the Sentinel units were back under one flag, despite some still touting the red paint of the Outcasts. In the Commonwealth, the Brotherhood tried to perform an unmanned mission using one of the suits after making some improvements to its targeting AI, but it ended up going rogue on its first test patrol. Another incident involving the Sentinels occurred when a six-unit team was assigned to patrol Sector 11 of the Commonwealth. Maria Harper, Gail Vasquez, Dawson Wakefield, and three Sentinel units. Unbeknownst to Maria and Gail, Dawson was a traitor. He had been funneling information to the Institute. Afraid that the others might get suspicious of him, Dawson programmed two of the suits to ambush the others, hoping the attack would appear as an accident. 